so i guess you're also like me and you're tired of always hitting the snooze button and sleeping back all to say tomorrow will be better which isn't usually quite the case you actually might have given up but please hold that thought at the point of recording this for the past one year i've been waking up by 3 a.m consistently and in this video i want to share with you the seven tips that helped me achieve this consistently now i'm a naturally laid back person yeah <laughs> naturally laid back person and then if it worked for me then mm, it definitely will work for you point number one start with why yes why do you want to wake up early normally vision precedes discipline one secret actually to cultivate discipline is for you to have a vision have something that you're looking forward to have something that you're looking at achieving yeah so why do you want to wake up early just to say you wake up early <laughs> that won't fly <laughs> some reasons could be okay i want to write a book i want to prepare for my exams even though this could now be a seasonal one because sometimes you'll be writing exams sometimes you won't and so we are not writing exams we used to be waking up early yeah so you need a reason bigger than yourself personally the reason why i wake up early is to have my keystone habits and a keystone habit is a habit that affects the rest of the day yeah it's just one habit that makes the rest of the day to be very exceptional for you and that keystone habit for me is my quiet time so that's the reason why i always try to wake up early so what's your reason you have to have a why it has to be a reason bigger than you now point number two sleep early early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy strong and wise i think that's how they say it i can't really remember but you get the point sleep early if you want to wake up early and sleep early i don't know why some people want to wake up early and they sleep late so you want to wake up by four or 5 a.m you're sleeping by midnight or 1 a.m you have to sleep early so depending on the hours you want to sleep you come back from there okay so for instance you want to sleep seven hours and you want to wake up by five what time should you sleep 10 p.m so if you want to wake up by four you should sleep by nine so you have to count backwards based on the amount of hours you want to sleep yeah it's it's recommended doctors recommend like seven to nine hours for optimal health i don't do that <laughs> i don't know i feel it's a lot actually so i just personally do six but whatever works for you whatever helps you to be optimal in your day yeah go for it so you know the amount of hours you want to sleep and then you count back from there number three avoid caffeine and alcohol hours before bed why will you take caffeine if you want to sleep early and wake up early yes caffeine will make you sleep late so doctors recommend about four to six hours before bed that you stay away from anything caffeine so whether it's coffee whether it's coca-cola anything that contains caffeine you just stay away from it four to six hours before bed point number four set up a suitable sleep environment so you need to switch up the lights i know you feel you sleep better when the light is on not quite <laughs> science is not quite so turn off the lights learn to sleep without light actually you sleep better that way then make the temperature to be cool yes when the weather is hot you can't really sleep well and also keep your phone away that's actually going to have a separate point of its own but i just want to talk about that suitable sleep environment so if you're not feeling sleepy at that point you're not feeling sleepy you could pick a book and read those kind of books that help you to sleep you know them now those ones yeah <laughs> those ones that you almost like to sleep off on when reading yes so you pick a book and read then point number five keep your phone far i don't keep it on your bed such that you can just press the snooze button or the off alarm button and tell yourself in your head i'm going to get up now until it's two hours later <laughs> Keep your phone far such that you actually have to stand up walk and switch off the alarm that will help you a great deal yes when getting up early national sleep foundation national sleep foundation i didn't know they existed but they recommend you 
put your devices away 30 minutes before sleep between that time you actually you could actually read a book or something that doesn't have to do with screens it helps you sleep better it's important you sleep well so that you can wake up early point number six plan your day so you should either do this the night before or that morning yes i personally like to do this after my quiet time so after i've prayed and done bible study and i'll plan the day based on the directions that god has given me and all that i'll do a separate video like especially on how to plan your day but one tip i'll give now is have a daily highlight this concept was first introduced in the book make time yes i highly recommend this book it gives so many strategies so many you feel you don't have time go and read that book you'll see that you have a lot <laughs> a lot of free time at your disposal so they introduced the concept of a daily highlight now what a daily highlight is a major goal that you want to achieve that day that takes between 60 to 90 minutes to accomplish it shouldn't be a small goal somebody just doing two minutes no 60 to 90 minutes to accomplish that like a daily highlight so every day actually should have a daily highlight so plan your day if you do that the night before better it helps you look forward to waking up and getting into the day if you do that in the morning when you wake up it's still fine you have something to do after you wake up and finally point number seven wake up at the same time every day wake up at the same time every day this strains your brain on this is the time to sleep and this is the time to wake up yes normally naturally it gets easier actually with time so if you stick to a particular time you want to sleep seven hours for instance so every time you sleep by 10 and every time you're waking up by five more importantly some days you might not sleep by 10 based on like the routine of the day but you are waking up by five consistently your brain is wired in such a way that it adjusts to that time that particular time now and as a bonus point <laughs> as a bonus point number eight drink water it's just like a pro tip when just beside your phone the source of alarm keep a bottle of water there or a glass of water and then when you wake up as you switch off the alarm you drink water it helps you number one stay like get active and then number two it helps you to maintain good hydration habits so since you start your day with being hydrated you tend to want to do that throughout the rest of the day so, so at this point I would like to invite you to give this video a like if you love what you've been hearing so far and you want more people to hear it come on hit the like button below and thank you very much that'll be all for now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you like this video feel free to binge watch all the videos on the channel yes they are here for you <laughs> they are here for you so feel free to binge watch them you can start with these ones right here but then feel free to watch all the rest of the videos on the channel thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't come on join the family and then i'll see you in the next one bye